Hello students, welcome to today's session. Today we shall be discussing something other than chemistry. It would primarily be dealing with your queries and questions which you have asked me since last one month uh, in regard to management of your subject or management of your studies, uh, especially in this lockdown period when there is a lot of negative energy in family as well as outside the family because there is a negative sort of uh, energy is prevailing because of this pandemic, because of this COVID. So at times a child or a student feel little affected by all of these what is happening in and around us. So uh, I have seen that most of these questions which I have tabulated some of these questions which may come in your mind which have been uh, asked by some of the students uh, so are you not getting the right pedagogy or methodology to prepare your subject if that is the question second question is also related somewhat with the same first question because of this the right approach is not clear with you so you are struggling you are not getting the interest in the subject and as a consequence of this lack of interest in the subject because of the uh, not knowing the right approach of the subject you are not making the notes properly are you not getting the right way to make the notes because uh, in this lockdown and because of this all the shifting of the coaching or teaching to the online mode where the student tend to get all the class notes in the pdf form so he lacks the bookkeeping or he is he or she struggled to write the things after the session because everything available is on the PDF or in the soft. So why is it, what is the role of writing that into the notes or into the copy? So uh, because the interest is being lagged and as a consequence at times the note making is not perfect. And all of these also generate, all these queries also generate one another important question that you are not getting the right amount of scores in your respective test. In spite of the fact that at times you know the concept also, but you struggle to score good in the exam. So there are n number of questions. These are the some of the questions which came across to me since last one month. I'm I'm thinking of placing a video on this. All of these, every question with every child, there are number of ways to tackle it. But one simple basic rule which I can pass it to you, which I have which I feel is time and tested is how many of you are completing your learning cycle. So I strongly endorse this part. Once you start focusing on this particular learning cycle, many, many, many of your questions get omitted. So what exactly do I mean by learning cycle? I divided this learning cycle into four or five quadrants. So first, if I talk of how this learning starts and if I say this is the point, this is the start point from where the learning of any concept starts and then it completes this way, it goes in a this way. Let me say it as to be a clockwise way. Now the learning cycle I divided majorly into four or five quadrants. I have shown here it as in the four quadrants. Now basically the first part is the classroom learning this is the most important part the classroom learning this is the major part of your concept development or concept learning so classroom learning is actually being driven by a teacher majorly is a teacher although student is also a stakeholder in it but majorly it is being driven by a teacher whatever teacher takes up the topic he or she tries his level best to make the thing simpler for you with his or her experience and skill set and in a way there is a teacher student bond formation happens because i am from the chemistry so i happen to say it is a guru shishya bond is generated in the classroom so that is very important that how effectively you are going to get connected with your teacher and vice versa also more the student connects with the teacher more inspired is the teacher and more uh, more productivity of class would come out of a teacher because of the fact that the student is gelling with the teacher. So make it a point at times a student do feel it that way that teacher has to make a bond with the student but I say it reverse way also that 
whatever is the responsibility of a teacher student also is equally responsible if both would fight or both would come together to make a bond formation it would be a very awesome experience so here what i am saying is majorly that the, the this classroom learning is being given by the teacher and student has to understand it now this is the major part then the ball game shifts to a person which is the which is you people that is student it comes to a compartment second which is i am saying it is almost equally to the first quadrant the time you have devoted in a classroom same amount of time if a child places it for himself as self study so this is very important self study self study is the most important area where a student has to focus if the classroom um, the if the uh, particular class session is of 2 hours at least a child has to give to learn that subject in a better way almost 1.5 or 2 hours because he has to tabulate the things he has to articulate the things in his or her own language whatever he have learned and he has to write everything in his copy so that if in case he happen to get same sort of a query later on after 6 month he or she is able to have that register as is as is his ready reckoner thing so so second uh, quadrant is of the student now the third one which is the most important area this i love to take up in very detail but at this point of time i shall be saying this is the area where you have to come across a term called as doubts this is the this is the quadrant which is actually going to make the concept building so teacher has taught in the best possible way and you have learned it in the class but when you happen to come back to your home and you happen to see into that you come across some doubts you have to consolidate that doubts and you have to place that doubts in your notes or copy so that next time when you meet the teacher or whatever support system you are getting from your coaching you have to do the resolution of these doubts so make it a point you have to almost spend good amount of time but now another very important point most of the time is being depleted here in this quadrant and this quadrant here you would not be uh, going to waste much of the time in the sense that once this doubts have been tabulated after your self study only thing is the resolution of this doubt so here comes the fourth quadrant where you have to do the resolution resolution or you have to resolve your doubts with whatever support system your coaching is provided it with you so once you complete all of this if you complete this learning cycle i can assure you most of your queries get tackled with once you start obeying this on a daily basis on every subject 24 hour in a day become short of it become short reason being because you get so engaged and now another thing is that once you come across the doubt most of the things most of the time what why the students start lagging in the things as the syllabus goes on why why there is the feel that you are lagging behind in the subject is because of the fact that most of the time student feel as if they have completed first quadrant because they have learned the topic well in the classroom itself so there is no need of going forward in the cycle but that is not there those who are little motivated they do the self study and religiously see into the things that what are the things there are they might have missed in the classroom and third those who are little more motivated start noting down that doubts and the last one i have seen most of the time most of the children are not completing this part the last two quadrants they generally miss and as a consequence of that the learning cycle is not complete so make it a point those who are going to complete the learning cycle they are going to good score very good in the marks and this also in a way develops a interest in the subject i show i always believe in that way when a child is being given 10 questions after first question he did that question second question he did that and after the second question if third question is not being solved fourth is not being solved by him fifth is not solved by him 
he start lacking the motivation so as a consequence it start losing interest in the subject a child feel motivated only if if whenever he start doing some question it get resolved it get solved out and then it gives it him or her a motivation to do the sec next one and if this process keeps on going he start feeling interest in the subject the interest in subject would come with the problem solving and make it a point those who are making the doubts and not getting that resolved they are not completing the circle so here i am at my level i am going to support in a one way which i am doing so since last two months with my dcd series daily chemistry dose now i am starting with another one where i shall be helping you out selflessly i am imparting my services to you with a series named as ask your doubts so i am trying that on a regular basis whatever doubts you would place in front of me in a day i will make the consolidation of that and then would try to make a video solution of that and will place it to you so in a way uh, i just want in this pandemic if my skill set or my services would help you out in resolving this particular area of the doubts i i shall be feeling very delighted and very obliged so hope so you have understood what we have discussed in today's session in some other video we shall be addressing some more uh specifically that how to set in the class what are the things which you have to take care while studying in the classroom how to do the self study how to generate doubts how to keep the book keeping of the doubts and things like that objectively all these quadrants i tend to discuss in quite a detail in the classrooms so hope so you have understood it and keep pushing your doubts to me as and when i get a time i do place your solutions in a day i try my level best to make it as regular as i can and in a way you also would see most of the questions in the dcd is also nothing but the doubts here what student many students have asked that sir you should do the doubts whatever we are passing in the directly that replica so i would be using whatever doubts either it is handwritten or is an is it is it from some book or something like that i will place it in the youtube and place the video solution for that thanks a lot have a nice day stay safe and take good care of yourself bye bye see you in some other video bye bye take care